Well, good morning, Kit Kats, and welcome back to Harmony. So today, we are just going to be kind of seeing what's going on in the town. Um, I see we have a new villager that moved in, and it looks like we have another new villager that's about to move in as well. Um, let's see, who's this? Eugene. All right, well, let's go see who else is behind him. Alice? I'm not entirely sure who Alice is, but we shall see. <sighs> Again, sorry for the yawning. Talking to Twiggy. Hey, I'm totally trying to make my life even more sparkly, and the key is fruit. Any kind of fruit will be fine. How about it? Get me some, Tawny. Of course I will. Yay, you'll make me so happy if you get me that, Tawny. Well, what do you know? There's a fruit tree right here. Shaky, shaky. Grab some of that. Talk to Twiggy again. Hiya, Tawny. What's going on, cheapers? I brought it. Oh, you finally found me what I want? Give him a pair. My tummy is already growling for it, Tawny. That really hit the spot. What a yummy pear. Oh, I should give you something for that. Hey, here, it's not much, but have a standing spotlight. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks again for the fruit fetch, Tawny. Alright, cool. Got you that fruit. Let's go see who else is around here. Let's water those flowers. Because... I actually do not have my uh, town approval rating or my mayor's approval rating up to 100% yet, so that's why I haven't enacted the beautiful town ordinance. Because that's usually one of the first things I do. Let's see, are you a money rock? Nope, you are a gem rock. Hmm. Let's see. Oop, another. But yeah, you can see there's weeds and stuff all over town, which kind of sucks. Oh my gosh, all these gyroids, or gyroids. Oh. Let me do that. Alright, got the decoid. Let's pull up that weed. And I don't really collect the gyroids, gyroids, however y'all want to say it. Just because... I don't know. I just never got into them. Like, if I end up getting more, I definitely will start collecting them. And maybe once I expand my house, I'll have a gyroid um, room. <laughs> But until then, I am selling them. <laughs> 4,789 bells. That sounds good. All right. Let's see if anybody else put anything in here. No. Not yet. Hey, 
Thank you. Come again. All right. Let's see. Oh, whose house is this? This is Cherry. <gasps> I love Cherry. She's so adorable. She's like this little punk rock dog. And I love her with all my heart. She is adorable. Yay, finally found a fossil. Hallelujah. Let's see. Let's go talk to some peoples. Working on my biceps. Love to show off some other towners. Just to buy some friends from other towns. Come see the gun show, KG. Haha, <laughs> the guns are my muscles, of course. I turn my butt off until your pals show up. Alright, dude. Let's go see what we got. Oh. Not gonna give me some numbers? Some other one there? No. I made his head a little bit too big. So, unless I get, like, a perfect snowman, then he won't give me lottery numbers. A bunch of dirt is all you need to relieve stress. Alright, dude. Sitting on a rock. Nobody in the in the area today. Oh, there it is. Another fossil. Pull up some more weeds. Don't have a slingshot, so I can't shoot that down. I think on the day that there's a lot of gyroids, I think you only get like three, um, what you call it, uh, like three, uh, fossils. Can't think of the word fossils. Unless I was just never able to find that. Oh, hey, you're here. I have many wallpapers for the papering of walls, many carpets for the petting of cars. Or 3,000 bells, deal? Deal. Alright, it is nice. Let us travel to your place swiftly. Let's go. Excuse me, Twiggy. I wonder what kind of weird carpet she's going to give me. Ah, this is your palace, yes? Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just the thing. Yes, yes. Now I'll accept the payment of the money. 3,000 bells. Thank you. Yes. Now my work begins. You will wait outside, yes? Just a bit, please. Thank you, yes. Oh, Lord. What's she gonna give me? Oh, oh, oh. It is done, done like the past. Tomorrow is here. The future ne needs not this, so you must take it. Okay. My vision, it is yours now. You will like it, yes? <laughs> sure. Let's go see.
Why, Sahara? Why? <laughs> oh my gosh. She always gives us like the ugliest freaking stuff. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Let's go see if I could change it. No, I want to change it. Talk to me. Oh, I can't change it. No. Oh, man. I hope I can get some wallpaper soon. Because <laughs> that is horrible. Oh, my gosh. Especially, like, that dirty, like, floor. Like, ew. That's gross. All right. Well. Oh, excuse me. Let's go up to town. Um, I heard that there is a new shop up there. And I believe it is Leaf's shop, the flower shop. So let's go see. Yep, it is Leaf's. Yay. Mm. All right, let's see if we can get some wallpaper or something from him. Nope, can't. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Well, then I'll just go this way. All right, let's go visit the museum. And give Blathers the fossils to look at. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Harmony Museum. Hmm? Who? How may I be of service? Assess a fossil. Would you like me to access? Assess, not access. Confirm. Oh, -hoo, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Hoo hoo, I do believe I found something that's not yet part of our museum's collection. It really is most stunning. I believe you have a natural talent for fossils. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm rather jealous. I can hope. I hope I can perhaps convince you to assist with Harmony's cultural education. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating, though. Hoo -hoo. May I offer any further assistance? Make a donation. Again with the yawning, guys. I am so sorry. I don't know what it is about recording early in the morning. Maybe I should try and record in the afternoons or something, but I work such odd schedules that it like just doesn't work. All right, so what can we donate? We can donate a Stego skull and a Diplo skull. What was the other one? Oh, we can't. Oh, and the common painting that we got from Reds the other day. Oh, several things I see. There's no need for you to pull them out. I'll handle the rest from here. Hoo hoot. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? And there's nothing. Alright. So, let's... I don't think... We don't have any bugs. I don't know why I went into the bug area. <laughs> Alright, let me go this way. All right, dinosaurs. We have a few fish, mostly dinosaur stuff. So we have T-Rex. And then we have the Strachiosaurus. And then we have a Stegosaurus. And Parasaurus. And then we have the Peking Man. 
Viking men was a hominid existing 500,000 years ago who used stone tools for crafting. He also hunted for animals, making him more a carnivore than an herbivore. Though not a direct ancestor of modern-day humans, interaction between the two was very likely. And then we also have Lord Helix. Ammonite. <laughs> Ammonites were sea creatures with shells ranging from a few inches to a few feet in diameter. However, theories speculate that the giant varieties existed as well, with shells six feet in diameter. Oddly, the ammonite is closer relative to the squid or octopus than to the chambered nautilus. And we also have an archelon. Archelon. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Okay, that's all we have in this room. Let's go see what we have in our last room. A pteranodon. A ankylosaurus. And we have Demetriodon. Diplodocus. And I think that's it, guys. Yep, that is it. We're back to the beginning. Go look at the fish. <laughs> okay, there's nobody in there. Nobody in there. Let's see. We have a horse mackerel, a dab, an olive flounder, a squid, and a football fish. In that tank at least. Nothing in there, only one thing in there. I think that's a black bass. Yeah, black bass and a pond smelt. We have in here. Yeah, there's the pond smelt. Yeah. Oh no, that isn't a pond smelt. It's a bitterling and a barb steel. I saw another fish and I thought it was that one, but it wasn't. All right. And then we just have the one common painting, which I will go and show y'all. There it is. That is the common painting. Common painting. The Gleaners. Artist, artist <laughs> Jean-Francois Millet made in 1857 oil on canvas. This painting depicts a common scene of the day where extra wheat is collected by the needy. Interesting. But yeah, that's all we got in the museum for the art.
Alright. Well, let's go see if Leaf's shop is open. And I can show y'all all about that. Yay, Leaf! He's one of my favorite NPCs besides Isabel. Welcome. Oh, a first timer. Welcome. I sell flowers here. Nice, beautiful flowers. Yes, indeed. I also have saplings, tools, and many more things. So please do take your time and have a look around. All right. So let's see. Yes, we're going to buy the roses. And... Yes. Alright. Got some of that. Come again. And we're going to go plant them, and then we're going to go check with Isabel to see what our approval rating is. So hopefully I can... Let's see if Nooks is open. Nooks opens at 10, huh? Yeah. Dang it. So hopefully I can go plant these real quick. And then, um, I think I'll just plan on by the town hall. Does that make sense? I hate when there's rocks hidden behind trees. Collect our cat coupons or meow coupons, sorry. And then let's go talk to Isabel. Hi, Miss Mayor. Is there something I can help you with? Development permit. Like to know how much progress you've made towards the getting the development permit? Well, you already own a house, and according to a recent survey, your approval rating is 55%. Oh my gosh. How about watering any flowers around town? It'll show the citizens that you care about harmony. Plus, people just love seeing public officials getting their hands dirty. <laughs> There you have it. If you follow that advice, you'll have a 100% approval rating in no time. I think this is actually the longest time I have gone without having a 100% approval rating. So, like, I can't, like, do anything. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go water some flowers. Watering the flowers, the flowers, the flowers, watering the flowers. So this X I am not going to be digging up because this is actually a pitfall seed. I usually always bury it in a far corner of town. Um, I was going to bury it since this is a left cliff town. I was going to bury it in the upper right hand corner because I usually bury it in the upper left hand corner if I have a right facing cliff town. But since it's a left-facing cliff, and the campsite is very close to the upper side of my town, I didn't want to risk accidentally running into it, so this is the best place, again, for the pitfall. So. Alright, let's water some flowers. Hello, kitty. Surprise you're coming by me today. Alright, water all the flowers. So I'm thinking I'm only gonna keep a few actual, like, 
breeds of flowers. Like I'm thinking I want to uh, just keep the roses and violets in town. Because I think they're pretty. Or maybe the roses and tulips. I have to think about it a little bit. Set. Like when there's a flower, like just in the middle of all these trees. I'm like, did I water it? But yeah, I'm really sad that I didn't make him perfect, so now he won't give me lottery numbers, which sucks. Because <laughs> there's only a few more winter days, I think. And once winter is done, I don't think I, there's any way to get rid of this bingo card. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, we'll water these last few flowers over here, and then I'll go check with Isabel one last time to see if our approval rating lifted any. And again, I do not have a slingshot, so I cannot shoot those down, which kind of sucks because I want the balloon set. <laughs> There's another thing. Yay, another fossil. Okay, so there are four fossils when there's gyroid days. That makes me happy. Some flowers, some flowers, some flowers, water and some flowers. So we can get a higher approval rating. <laughs> Alright, let me go check all on my side. Okay. Lots of flowers over here. Lots and lots of flowers. Sahara. Messing up my dang house. Alright. I think those... Nope. That is all the flowers. So let us go check with Isabel to see if our approval rating went up. Hopefully it did. So that way we'll be closer. And hopefully by next time that I uh, 
record this, I will actually have the 100% approval rating and actually be doing some uh, Publix Works projects. Because I would like to get a bridge in close to my house, because that would be amazing. Um, I would also like to just get some general beautification projects and the beautiful town ordinance in place, because that would really be helpful. Development permit. I'd like to know how much progress you made toward getting the permit. Already on a house. 56. One percent. Oh boy. It's going to be a long day. These guys are very, very picky. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. Well, apparently we need to go sell stuff at retail, but I think that will be a episode for another time. So... But yeah, so as of now, we have a 56% approval rating. <sighs> or so far. <laughs> so I think that's it for today, guys. Um, so I will see y'all in the next video. So don't forget to rate, comment, follow, and subscribe. And if y'all want to be part of the notification squad, hit that little bell that's next to the subscribe button. And I will see y'all later. Bye.